Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, <laughs> the 25th of July. Always forget the dates. Anyways, this is a No Catchy Name episode. I think it is 147. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I always get the numbers mixed up. But I just got done sewing some and cleaning up the house, and now I'm going to sit down and record this. <laughs> Whew, I'm tired. But anyways, welcome back everybody and welcome to all the new members, subscribers, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoy it here. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, let's hop into it. I got some finished objects to share with you and a couple whips. And I also got the bags for the next update. I'm going to show them with you guys. I think it's everything. I wanted to mention back here, these are Halloween candles <laughs> that me and Devin made out of uh, pool noodles. They don't have the candle part in them yet. They're actually down here in the bag. <laughs> I'm not gonna put the candles uh, in there, you know, leave them in there until I decorate and I have to wait for like Dollar Tree and all that to put out Halloween stuff to decorate my candles. But there they are. So these are pool noodles. I bought a Dollar General. I bought two of them. They were lime green. You can't tell it because Devin painted them really well. Can you see down in there? But, um, and then I, when he, he cut them up and painted them and then I got hot glue and made it look like welted, um, welted, <laughs> melted wax. And then he painted it again. And then I glued them together in like the way I wanted them. They're both slightly different setting. And uh, we got little tea lights. I'll just show you. We had to get them at Walmart because my Dollar Tree didn't have any. Sometimes they have them. But they're the battery operated ones. They were white and Devin painted them for me. So they, uh, where's the button? So they will go, you turn them on with the button and they just kind of set in the holes. <laughs> so it looks like a candle from far off. <laughs> but uh, I'm not excited about them. I got a few things at my Dollar Tree to decorate with them. But they mostly, they've been putting out fall stuff, but they had some Halloween flowers. So I got this one. I got two of these ones. And there's two with the purple skulls. And uh, that's it so far. <laughs> I have to wait until they put out more decorations. And then I got back here two Dollar Tree platters from the aisle with glass cups and stuff on it. That I'm going to put those on. They're going to be sitting on either side of this thing around the whole time. I just thought I'd share that anyways. <laughs> anyways, back to crochet. I mentioned that because the other day I mentioned making that in my last video. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> I'll show them to you when they're done for sure. And also I'm going to be making some apothecary jars. Um, I'm excited about that. I got some already. And I bought some candlesticks from... The thrift store that I'm going to spray paint. Or I'm going to have Devin do it. <laughs> He's better at spray painting than me. Okay, finish up this. First, uh, these two of you have already seen if you watch all my videos. Um, because they were for national holiday videos that I made recently. The last two, I think. So, the first one is like one of my favorite ones I've done so far. <laughs> Let me find it. I got it written down here. It is... Okay, I don't have it written down here. I lied. Fooey. What is this cow called? I got to write that down. <laughs> I'm slacking, but it's this cute little cow. It's called cow amigurumi. I can't remember off the top of my head who wrote the pattern, but it will be linked below in the description. It's a free pattern and it's cute. I made mine pink because I love pink. They have examples on their website of different color combinations that they used to, you can make it look like traditional cows, you know, but you know, I made a pink one because I love pink. So I used different shades of pink. Um, it's all red heart super saver scraps, white. I think this is like petal pink. Perfect pink. And this is Aaron up here, and a little bit of, little tiny bit of black. <laughs> and then um, the eyes are safety eyes that I got off Amazon. I'll link that below too. Uh, I like those eyes just for my generic amigurumis. I've never bought like specific eyes for a specific project, but I know there's a lot of Etsy shops that sell nicer looking eyes. But I just like the generic ones for my regular amigurumis. But yeah, I think it's so cute. It's pretty big. Really simple to make. There's a lot of sewing if you don't like sewing pieces on, but, um, you know, still cute. <laughs> but I'll link that below. I cannot remember off the top of my head who this is by. They have a ton of these patterns. I didn't write it down. I thought I had everything written down and I forgot. There's one thing. <laughs> but anyways, I will link it in the description below. Super cute. The next one uh, was an ice cream cone that I made. I know this one. This is from all of us. Stringyding. Stringydingding.com. Well, here it is. I used, again, scrap yarns, and it's Red Heart Super Saver Hot Pink, I think. And this is, um, it's not Cafe Latte, it's the other one. Maybe it's coffee? I can't remember, it's like the darker brown. 
and uh, its little smile is crooked, but that's okay. Again, that's the same like generic eyes from uh, Amazon. I'll link them below. They're just really cute. This is the big size, and then you can also there's also the pattern has a uh, littler size in this pattern too, so you can make like a smaller one <laughs> or a larger one. But I picked the larger one because you know, it's more fun that way. <laughs> But yeah, this is a free pattern also. You can purchase PDF without ads and stuff in it for like, I think $1.99. All her patterns are super cheap. Or you can just get it for free off of her website, which is what I usually do. But I do have a lot of hers. I do purchase a lot of them. <laughs> but I'm also a member of her um, membership. So I get a lot of her new patterns, for, uh, pretty much all of her new patterns. Every time she puts out one, I get the PDF for free because I'm a member. And it's only $6 a month, so it's totally worth it. Anyways, so that's my two Amigurumis I made. This was for National Cal Appreciation Day, and this is for National Ice Cream Day, which I think was last Sunday. So cute. I love pink, <laughs> in case you could tell. I'm wearing a pink shirt, but it's really pale pink. I don't know if you could tell it's pink. And I'm a little flushed because I, I just got done cleaning and stuff. But anyways, yeah. So my last finished object is a baby blanket that I was working on. I started a while ago. I, I used yarn from Hobby Lobby clearance sale. It is... Premier Bloom Chunky, and the colorway was Daisy. It's got uh, five full balls of it in there and like half of the sixth one. I don't guess it matters which way up is. I will in the ends, so it's completely done now. But here it is. It's like the size of a crib blanket. Um, or I guess a stroller blanket also, if you want to. It's pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty long. But uh, it's got like a ridged effect. I didn't even say what it's called. It's called the Ridge Ripple Baby Blanket by the Hazelnut Skein. And it is a free pattern. And it's a four row repeat. You do three rows of like solid. And then the fourth row you do it in the back, around the back, uh, what is that called? Back post. <laughs> so it gives it like a bumped out effect every four rows. I like it a lot. It's pretty. I can't really show it to you good because. I'm, you know, I'm not long enough, <laughs> but I will try to remember to take a picture and insert it laying on the floor or something so you guys can see the whole thing laid out. But I like it a lot. It's really um, soft and squishy. I think it'll feel a lot softer once it gets um, washed. I haven't done that yet. Um, I usually don't wash the baby blankets I make until I'm getting ready to gift them and then I'll wash them <laughs> and then gift them so they're nice and clean and fresh. But this one is a good girl color one, I think. It'll have to be a girl that's born in colder months because it's kind of a thick blanket. <laughs> But I think it's pretty. So I will put this in my baby stash for uh, gifts. I like to keep baby blankets and uh, loveys. I don't really make baby hats and booties. I probably should. <laughs> but it um, seems like everybody I know who has babies has them in like the spring and summer. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll ever get the gift to someone. I might up having to donate this to the pregnancy center. I like donating to there because I, I went there when I was pregnant with Jesse. And uh, just because it's free. <laughs> and at the time I wasn't on any, you know, insurance that was good so um, I like to donate back to them since they helped us so much with Jesse but anyways sidetrack <laughs> whips so I have two active whips I do have my Halloween secret project up here I haven't touched it since I finished half of it <laughs> I need to get back on that um, I'll probably go ham in August and get that finished up because I got to get the rest of the stuff for that swap together I'm slacking on that I got a lot of gifts for the, the person I'm swapping with but I haven't done the yarn balls yet <laughs> that's kind of an important part of the swap is the scrap yarn balls I got one I got one put in the bag <laughs> so I need to get uh, the other 12 but uh yeah so this is my my other Halloween project the one for me it's a Halloween trick-or-treat bag for me to take because when you take a kid trick-or-treating um most of the especially the older um people <laughs> people like old enough to be my mom and older um they give the parents candy too. <laughs> so I'm making a pattern by Howdy Yates, which is Snappy Tots. And it is paid for pattern. I'll link it below. Um, and it's called Halloween Sampler Bag. So here's the picture of it. I haven't got much done at all. I just got the band done. And sewn together. This is the band of the bag. <laughs> this is the part that's going to have all these little characters on them. A the little jack-o'-lantern and Bride of Frankenstein and little bat and regular pumpkin. <laughs> Um, so now what I got to do is attach green and make Frankenstein's monster's head and then it's closed somehow at the bottom. I haven't gotten that far in the pattern. <laughs> I just did that one part. So I got to get around to, um, finishing it up. Actually, I think I have to attach yellow. So I think you finish the bottom first and then, um, go back and attach to the green or the green up here to go up. I think, I don't know. I need to work on that. 
I just haven't touched it. I got a big old bag for it because it's all full of <laughs> skeins. We got all that yarn in there. I didn't have enough scrap yarn of the colors I needed for that bag. So I, uh, I had to pull out full skeins for all of those. I need more purple yarn. I don't have any scrap balls of purple and I only have two skeins of purple and it's that dark uh, amethyst from Red Heart and that lighter purple. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like lilac or something like that. So, and then my last whip is in here. Project bag that I made. This is another baby blanket that I'm making with this yarn. Hold on, I'll get it out. I showed this in my last watch of work on Wednesday. This is uh, another baby blanket that I'm making for my stash that's a boy color. Or it could be gender neutral because it's like a pretty green color. Or girl color. You know, it depends on who wants it at the time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. It's just a baby blanket. I enjoy making baby blankets because they're easy. Especially this one. This is a really easy pattern. And it's something for me to keep on the side to do in between like my amigurumis and stuff. I don't want to commit to like a big giant blanket. <laughs> but um, the baby blankets are good. I think after I finish this one though, I will be starting a bigger blanket. A throw blanket. Because I want to make the Christmas blanket by Maria's Blue Crown. I made the Halloween one a few years ago. And now I want to make the Christmas one. So I'll commit to that. But that's made in squares. So it's kind of easier to commit to that. Because you just make a bunch of squares. And then a bunch of appliques. And then the horrible part is putting it all together. <laughs> but it's fun making the squares and the appliques. But here's the blanket. Last time I showed you guys, it was like a little tiny grain square. It's gotten much bigger because it's a it's a really easy pattern. I'm trying to find my my loop so I don't lose stitches. All right, so I'm on the lacy part now. So here it is. Last time you seen it, it was like around this size. <laughs> so I finished up the solid middle part and I started the um, like lacy shell bit. <laughs> Getting there. I am, um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm right here. I didn't finish this row. I usually hate stopping in the middle of a row, but I guess I did that day. I just barely started this row. <laughs> but I think this is such a pretty blanket pattern. Like I said, I made two of these before. One for Jesse, and I can't remember who I gifted the other one to, but I know I made another one. I just can't remember when and what color it was and who I gave it to. <laughs> but I love this baby blanket. Now this baby blanket pattern used to be called Princess Charlotte Christening blanket because whoever wrote the pattern at the time came out with this and a christening dress right around the time that princess charlotte was born i think she was born the same year jesse was or the year before she was born 2016 i think i think i was still pregnant or 2015 i think i was still pregnant with jesse at the time anyways now it is called little cherub set and when you click on it to download it for free from yarn inspirations the first few patterns is the christening gown and like a hat, I think. The blanket doesn't start until page three of the pattern, but it is on there. <laughs> and it's just got a different name. I have an old printed off version of it that still has Princess Charlotte on there. But I wrote on the top of it that it's now known as um, Little Cherub Set by Yarn Expressions. It was a Red Heart pattern and then they sold it, you know, when they bought Red Heart. <laughs> so, um, it is in there. <laughs> I know some people had trouble finding the pattern because when they downloaded it, it just brought up the christening gown but it's below that it's all one big set so there's like a christening gown a hat I can't remember if booties or not but then the blanket is on there it's just towards the bottom of the pattern it starts on page three and goes into page four but it is on there i just have a printed off version that i've used a few times <laughs> but the yarn that i'm using for this is yarn that i got at clearance on um michael's at michael's and it is eco brats loops and threads the color is aqua it was seven and nine, but I got it for like two forty three. I think I got six balls of it, and so far I've got one whole ball in here, and this is the second one to do the lacy bit. I went ahead and grabbed another one because I took it out of the house with me one day. If I was just wiping it on my face, I was afraid that I, if I used that up, I might need a little bit more to finish it. But if I don't, I'll, if I, it only takes those two balls to make that blanket, I can make two more of those blankets or another blanket with the other four. I don't know. I'm just going to wait and see how much yarn that one takes. And uh, the lacy bit's kind of big. So I think I'm going to have to go into this next one to do some of it. Because Jessie's was big. The lacy bit's way bigger than the um, the solid bit. So I think I'm going to have to crack in this ball. So I'm going to leave it in there. But that's all my whips. Oops, snap my little project bag. Stick that in there. Okay. <laughs> So that's all my finished objects and my whips. So I'm feeling glad, glad that I got some of that stuff done. I'm really glad that I got this blanket done. Because I hate doing back post and front post stitches. Just, it's not mindless to me. I have to think about it. And I like mindless ones. This other baby blanket pattern, the little cherub one, 
is a mindless pattern. I can watch TV and just do it. Because <laughs> you pretty much, the solid piece is the same thing over and over again. And then when you do the lacy one, you're basically repeating like three rows. So it's super easy to just do, 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 and do it. But yeah, so that's everything. I gotta put my cow on here. Because I'm trying to keep track in my awesome Lisa Frank notebook which is wide ruled i wish it was college ruled but still it's for kids so it's wide ruled I'm trying to keep track of all my um current projects in there so that i can know when i finish things and also i put check marks beside them when they're done so that i know what i'm still working on like this is my mystery thing back there that's my halloween um bag and then the, the little blankets on there i need to put the cow on there but yeah so that's everything <laughs> Uh, I want to get started on that other blanket, Maria's Blue Crown, and I need to start making some Halloween amigurumis for Jesse's karate class, because I want to give them out little treats <laughs> when it gets closer. But now I'm going to show you the bags real fast. It's going to be coming up in the shop um, Tuesday. This this shop update will be Tuesday during the day. I'm thinking it, uh, it's going to be around 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, and uh, only because I'm going to be busy Tuesday evening karate and stuff i don't want to have to worry about my bag update while we're at karate <laughs> but uh yeah i'll make an actual video probably tomorrow for sure announcing that because i got to um finish running the draw i haven't even ran any of the drawstrings and there's still some threads i need to trim off of them but anyways so the bags that'll be in the shop are as follows there's gonna be two of these this is a larger zipper project bag but it is a box bottom it's just it doesn't have anything in it so it doesn't really have a shape with a little arm handle. It's got this uh, vintage-y looking print on it. And it is pretty big. I'll put the measurements in the listing. The measurements are always in the listings. And it's got green inside. There's also a fuzz in there. I still, I haven't done my last touch-ups of the bags. What I do is, right before I post them, is I go over them with the lint rollers. I iron the ones that need to be ironed. I make sure all the little threads are trimmed off. Sometimes I miss them, you know, I'm human. <laughs> but anyways, there's gonna be two of these. This is a bigger size bag. I mean, there's my head for comparison. <laughs> and then this one's a little bit different shaped because I was using up, for these ones, I was using up scrap pieces of fabric. So there's going to be, I think, two, no, just one of these ones with the fishes. Again, it's got the handle inside. I think it's green inside too. Yeah, it's also green. There's zippers. Did I already say that? And they're quilted. That one's kind of the same size as that one, but a little bit different. <laughs> and then there's going to be two of these littler ones. They definitely need to be lint rolled. <laughs> this is like a uh, Native American print that I had a scrap of. So there's two of these little water zipper bags and also green on the inside. <laughs> Uses up green uh, fabric that I had. So these, these ones are smaller, but still good project bags. So that's all the zipper bags. There's gonna be two of the blue ones, two of the fish, or one of the fish ones and two of this one. And then there's gonna be a whole lot of drawstring bag sets. <laughs> I'm so glad to be done sewing them. But there's gonna be a lot about drawstring bags so this one this this is a snow white print prints do vary also that's also on the listings because you know like not all uh, there's four of these and not all four of them see there's threads i still gotta go through and cut threads off um the prints won't be the same so it's i do say that in my descriptions like a taupe color on the inside but there's gonna be four of these without notion pouches they're just the drawstring bags i gotta put the strings on I just got done sewing these today. And then there's only one of this dinosaur print. Again, they need to be lint rolled. <laughs> so annoy, ignore these strings and stuff. I haven't lint rolled them yet. There's gonna be one of this print. We did dogs. I like that a lot, it's cute. And I think there are two of this print, the fish, like tropical fish print. I like the colors of this because it's really bright and I don't even know what I say, just bright. <laughs> Alright, there's going to be four sets of this print. So, sets is drawstring bag with a matching notions pouch, which I do have them done. I have all of them done, I just didn't grab them. <laughs> but, they're the regular ones. That's about five inches tall by about seven inches wide. And then, there's going to be four of all the rest of these prints. Sets. This pretty um, plant one. <laughs> I love this one. Turtles. The colors are pretty and I love turtles. Sea turtles. And then there's a puppy dog print. 
all kinds of different dogs wearing cute clothes and then a cute chicken print bright yellow <laughs> and then this cow print I showed this to you guys in another video and all these ones will have matching um, notion pouches with them I love this print too this print's so pretty butterflies and this this one's pretty too I like this color flowers are really pretty again I gotta iron and do all the touching up that I do I don't know why I iron them because when I when I sell them I just fold them up and put them in the bag so they're gonna get wrinkled anyways <laughs> but I still you know it's just the thing I do I like to you know make them look nice before I put them in the bag this pretty uh, flower print this cat print you got a little mouse that's so cute and yarn balls <laughs> and then this this print there's only two sets and it is a set so it's got the notion pouches and it's ET so, I was gifted this fabric to make Jesse a pillowcase with and turns out he does not like ET <laughs> we tried to get him to watch it and he was not having it so I just thought well I'll make bags with it <laughs> but yeah so that's all the bags gonna come out there's a lot of them because like I said most of those have four um, copies couple of them have two and again I was using up scrap fabric oh, the ones that I have four I purchased the fabric for but then like the ET one had I've had for a while the um let's see here move all these bags this print I've had for a while I've made a bunch of bags with it I still have some left I got a ton of that same with this I made bags of this still have some left <laughs> I did use up all of this uh the snow white fabric I've had forever I've made a pillow out of my for myself with it uh, I made these bags and I still have some left. This was some fabric my sister bought me to make her son face masks with. She wanted one face mask and she bought me half a yard. So I had a lot left for my face mask. And then this was um, fat quarters I was gifted. So I was trying to use up scrap stuff that's been sitting around for a while. And then I did purchase some new fabrics too because, I mean, how could I not? <laughs> Anyways, that's the bags coming up on Tuesday around 1 p.m. Uh-oh. What, what does this go to? This goes to my blanket. <laughs> I left my um, hook and scissors and stuff out of my blanket. Anyways, um, back update will be on Tuesday around 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. <laughs> uh, you'll have to just look that up for your time zone. I normally list them, but I don't have the brain power to do that right now. I gotta put all this stuff up and finish these bags. I gotta run the drawstrings, make sure I got all the little threads trimmed, iron the ones that really need it because there's some that's really wrinkly. And then tomorrow I'm going to photograph them all. Got to make all the listings. Got to make all the post, pre-schedule everything that's got to go out to announce them. And then get all my stuff ready. I got to get my labels and papers and bags, all that stuff ready for packaging them up. Because I always try, when I get orders, I always try to package them up super fast and <laughs> mail them usually the next day. Um, what did I say? I'll be Wednesday. Yeah, I don't have anything to do Wednesday. So I'll, I'll be able to just package everything up and send it off that day whatever sells on Tuesday. Yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. My phone is dying, so I'm going to hurry up and hop off. And hopefully next week I will be done with this blanket. I think I will be because I've been working on it a lot. I need to work on this bag. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a bag. And uh, I want to start some Armagrumis, but I don't know what. Probably something Halloween-y because <laughs> I love Halloween and uh, I'm in the mood for it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.